Yes, hello? Oh, hi there. Is that Ellen? Yes. Hi. Oh, hi, Nick. Hi, how are you? Fine. Could you tell me something about the well inspections you've been carrying out recently and why you did them? Well inspections are the only way to check if the well has been properly equipped according to the design or if there is any damage, biofouling or obstructions. Since most wells are cased, camera inspections are mainly used to check the condition of the casing. In open holes without casings, camera inspections allow to see and describe the geological and aquifer conditions, such as fracture types and lithology. OK. Is it difficult to carry out these well inspections? No. They are quick and easy to carry out. Apart from calibrating the wellhead elevation to zero for the depth indication, no further technical manipulations are required. And when is the most useful time to carry out these well inspections? The most useful timing is just after drilling completion. It allows to compare the borehole record with the as-built situation and gives a solid basis for the discussions with the contractors. Well inspections in already existing wells are recommended when sudden changes are observed, such as increased drawdown or turbidity. OK. Do you have any examples you can tell me about? As an example, in one well we inspected, the first screen was expected at 63.7 metres, according to the borehole record while we actually encountered it at 47.3 metres. Such inconsistencies between the well documentation and the as-built situation are very common. Borehole inspections provide the hard data required to raise such issues with the contractor. Another example revealed the effects of damaged casing where the threads were visible. According to the borehole record, the first screen should have been encountered at 38 metres above the static water level at 41. The well inspection confirmed the de depth of the static water level, but no screens were encountered at 38 metres. So here again, the difference between the well documentation and the as-built situation. So the dripping that can be seen in the video does not come from the seepage through a screen section above the water level, but is introduced to the well through the damaged casing. Whatever the reasons may be for the dripping, it is generally bad news, meaning that the unsaturated zone and the well are connected. And why is that a problem to have the unsaturated zone and the well connected? This process introduces air and nutrients into the well which possibly explains the development of the prominent biofilms encountered just below the water level. It's a textbook example showing what can happen if water from the unsaturated zone enters the well. This is typically the case if screens are placed above the water level, which is a common reason for premature ageing of wells. How did the contractors react when you discussed these findings with them? Discussing these results with the contractor led to an immediate improvement of the drilling works and improved collaboration since the underground was no longer exclusively accessible to the contractor but also to the client. This was a surprising result. So the mere presence of the borehole camera contributes to improved quality of the drilling works. Ah, it's probably a similar effect to Big Brothers watching you. And what type of equipment do you need? I usually recommend simple down-the-hole cameras, which are robust, with an integrated power supply. There are countless types of borehole cameras with good quality and robust types existing in the range of five to $10,000. If you take care of the equipment, you can easily carry out hundreds of well inspections with a camera, leading to a cost of few tens of dollars per inspection. This is almost negligible with respect to the capital investments of a well, as you know. And 
How do well inspections relate to project management? As already mentioned before, the results can be used to negotiate contractual issues for cases where inconsistencies have been discovered. This can lead to cost adjustments which may easily pay off the capital investments of the camera. But then, of course, if contractors know that you can check what is happening down there, the quality of the works naturally improve just by putting contractors and clients on the same page. So this is the, the main connection to project management. So such improvements of drilling work increase the lifespan and efficiency of wells, which is invaluable for the sustainability, thereby avoiding funds disappearing down in the darkness and the silence of the wells. So was this of any use to you? Yes, that's great. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, hear you soon again then, yeah. Nick. Thank you, goodbye.